Hey, what's up guys? It's Ozzy here. Today we have another sneaker unboxing. Now the reason I got these is because I could not find the triple black Ultra Boost for a decent price. I am not trying to pay over $300 for them. So I kind of just gave up and I just got the regular black with the white boost. But I'm still pretty hyped about them. They are a really nice shoe and they're going to go with pretty much everything and be super comfortable. So without further ado, here is the box. So just a standard boost box. Got that Lakers color scheme, the yellow, purple, and white. I really, really like it. It's the same as all the other boxes, but I'll just show you anyway. So it says boost on the top there. There's the back and the bottom, and then this is the important stuff. So we have the regular black and white, size 10 and a half there, ultra boost. Now I'm going to switch up the camera angle and show you guys a little bit of a closer look to the shoes. Okay guys, so here it is. Let's just open it up quick. So bang, there we go. Just gonna take one out for now and just kind of talk about it. So here is the left shoe. So I'm just gonna move the box out of the way here. So it's a really clean sneaker, as you can probably tell. So we have the cage right here. It's that standard plastic, which in my opinion makes the Ultra Boost what it is. I think this just really makes it look really good. Uh, the white boost, of course, really, really spongy. Definitely one of my favorite technologies in a shoe. So you see on the heel here, it says Ultra Boost in just black. So it's a little more subtle than the all whites. The all whites have that Ultra Boost written in silver, which honestly I wouldn't have minded if they put it on the shoe, but it looks fine without it. Uh, anyways, the laces are black here. The prime knit, just a clean black. It looks really, really good and it's super comfy. It literally feels like a sock. Uh, the bottom here, we have the continental kind of uh, bottom here. So it's gonna be really grippy, really good quality. And uh, on here, it's the torsion system. I'm still not 100% sure what exactly that is, but it's on there, just thought I'd say it. On the tongue there, it just says Adidas, just in black. Everything about this shoe is just really, really subtle and kind of uh, just a subtle flex, you know, it's not anything colorful or anything like that. Just standard black and white, a little bit of gray there, as you can see on the heel of the boost. There is the back, so we have this plastic cup around the heel. Uh, makes it really really comfy actually with your heel it definitely feels locked in place So guys, that's pretty much it for the actual look of the shoe There's nothing really to it just kind of all black with white boost and then the standard bottom So anyways, let's go try it on and see what it looks like on feet. All right guys So here it is. I got an all black adidas out for it on right now got black adidas pants black adidas jacket and these look really really good with the fit i'm not gonna lie uh so the boost standard white feels really really good of course because boost in my opinion is the best kind of comfortable shoe you can get right now so definitely the same with all the other ultra boosts i have very very comfortable the prime knit does stretch a bit so if you have a wider foot like me it's going to be fine unless you have like a super wide sasquatch foot but anyways the cage looks awesome really like it it's a very nice subtle flex honestly the triple blacks would have been a little bit nicer in my opinion but these are definitely up there i'll turn around for you guys too just so you can see what the back looks like so uh nothing really to it just a subtle subtle black shoe so it looks really good i'm not gonna lie like this is one of the most recognizable shoes you can get everybody's gonna know it's an ultra boost so that's definitely a factor too when you're buying the shoes and i think they look really good they're gonna go with pretty much everything like i said before and they feel really good too so guys that was the black adidas ultra boost these shoes are one of the comfiest shoes you can get on the market right now something really weird about these though is i got these in a 10 and a half the black of course the ones i'm showing you right now and I also have the triple whites in a size 10. And for some reason, these feel tighter than the size 10 whites, which I don't really understand. That's a little weird. I might just have to loosen the laces a lot on these or something. But anyways, great shoe overall. And I don't think I said this already in the beginning of my video, but these run for about 250 retail. I'm just kind of lucky because I work for a sports store and one of them in my city actually was carrying these or not really carrying them, but someone from Toronto returned them. So that's how I got them for a pretty good price. But I have bought a pair for retail price as well, and I definitely think it's worth it. 
And for all you Canadian fans out there, you guys probably recognized what I was drinking at the beginning of the video, and that is some good old Timmy's. So I just finished it while I was filming, and I think I'm gonna roll up the rim for you guys on camera. And I am doing very, very good with roll up the rim this year. I think I'm like eight and 13. Let's see if we can get a dub. You know what, Timmy's, I will play again, and I will win. No offense, Timmy's. Honestly, if you guys want to sponsor me, I'll take it. But anyways, guys, I gotta say, this is probably my favorite shoe that you can get right now. It literally feels like a sock. It's super comfortable. And the black colorway here with the white bottom, I think is a really, really good shoe. It adds a subtle flex because it is a hyped up shoe. It's very, very comfortable. The price point is sort of steep. It's not anything crazy, I would say, but it's also not a low end shoe by any means. So make sure you save your pen or if you can afford it go right ahead thanks for watching this sneaker unboxing and review guys I love doing them so much just because I love shoes and I love showing you guys what they are and how they feel and so on so thanks for watching this review in particular if you want to see any other shoe reviews I actually have a Air Max 270 review out right now so if you guys like that shoe or maybe want to learn a little bit about it make sure you check that video out and if you haven't already make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys next time